We are checking out the new B-Link Mini S Mini PC. We will be putting this budget mini computer through its paces with some system benchmarks. We can see how it performs and compare with other similar priced and specification models. As always we start with the unboxing. First we have the user guide which is in multiple languages including English, German, Spanish and Italian. It's got everything you need to get started. Next we have the B-Link Mini S itself. We will show it in more detail shortly. Inside the box we have a power supply. We will include the correct adapter for your country. Next we have two HDMI cables. One is shorter than the other and can be used when mounted behind your TV or monitor. And last but not least is a TV mounting bracket and a bag of screws for the mount, as well as fitting the internal 2.5 hour drive or SSD. The B-Link Mini S measures around 4.5 by 3.93 by 1.5 inches and weighs 265 grams. On the front are two USB 3 ports, a 3.5mm headphone jack and a power button. On the back are two USB 3 ports, a gigabit ethernet port and two HDMI ports for dual monitor display. The bottom part can be opened up if you wish to upgrade the storage or RAM or to install a 2.5 inch R drive or SSD. The B-Link Mini S features the Intel Celeron N5095 processor which runs up to 2.9GHz at 15 watts TDP. You can find 8GB of DDR4 RAM and a choice of 128 or 256GB of M.2 SSD. There is also space inside for a 2.5 inch hard drive or SSD. For communications there is a gigabit ethernet for wire transfer and there is Wi-Fi 5 and Bluetooth for wireless. Passmark pushes the CPU, GPU, RAM and storage to their maximum in a series of tests. It's a good way to find out the peak performance for a device. The B-Link Mini S scores 1457 which is an above average score in our benchmark results. We will be comparing them later in the video. PC Mark is a series of more natural tests covering day to day tasks from web browsing to image processing. The B-Link Mini S scores 2312 which again is above the average compared to other similar models. 3D Mark tests the CPU and GPU to see how well they work together in video processing tasks. While the Mini S is not a gaming mini PC, video speed is also used in tasks such as video decoding while streaming for example. The B-Link Mini S scores 204. It is in the low numbers, but many of the budget mini PCs actually score lower than this. Crystal Disk Mark runs a series of tests on the storage to see its performance across different reading and writing patterns. The B-Link Mini S gets a highest read speed of 508 and write speed of 430 megs a second which is around the average. Let's take a look at the benchmark results and compare them to other budget mini PCs. We can see that the B-Link Mini S falls in the middle between the lower performing GK35 model and the higher performance Nookbox 5. The results are closer to the Nookbox 5 which makes it very competitive in terms of performance versus the higher price of the Nookbox 5. The B-Link Mini S is perfect for those that want a mini PC at a budget price but not end up with a low performing device after 6 months. Whilst it's not as small as the Nookbox 5 it does mean you can fit a 2.5 inch drive inside for added storage, something the Nookbox 5 is too small to do. If you are looking for a budget mini PC that can handle all of your daily tasks from web browsing to media consumption or working with office documents then the B-Link Mini S is a very good option to consider. You can learn more about the B-Link Mini S and order yours today on our store at droix.co.uk or droix.net. We stock a wide range of mini PCs with worldwide shipping. That wraps up this B-Link Mini S review. We hope you have found it useful. If you have not already, please subscribe to the channel so you can keep up to date with our videos and help to grow the channel. 
thanks for watching and we hope to see you back in the next video.